7.2 studies the system of financial bodies supporting enhancement of the business in Sri Lanka. These are the main learning outcomes. However, we will focus on the first learning outcome. Classifies the system of financial institutions in Sri Lanka based on the annual report of Sri Lanka of Central Bank of Sri Lanka. What are the financial institutions? These are the four financial institutions such as banking sector, other financial institutions that accept deposits, specialized financial instructions, contracted savings institutions. Now let's focus on banking sector. On the banking sector there are three elements Central Bank of Sri Lanka, number two, licensed commercial banks, number three, licensed specialized banks. Moving to the second, other financial institutions that accept deposits includes the following licensed finance companies, cooperative rural banks, thrift and credit cooperative societies. Thirdly, specialized financial instructions. Here there are six classifications specialized financial leasing companies, primary dealers, share brokers, unit trust or unit trust management companies, market intermediaries, finally venture capital companies. Fourth, contracted savings institutions which includes insurance companies, employee provident fund which we call it EPF, employee trust fund which we call it ETF, approved pensioned and provident funds, state service provident funds. Now you're clear that these are the four main financial institutions and what does each one of these financial institutions include. Moving forward, let's discuss the central bank. Central Bank of Sri Lanka, the main institution that performs its activities as an agent of government, implementing the financial policies of the country. So this central bank is the bank for all the other financial institutions in a country. So the example remains as Central Bank of Sri Lanka. Moving forward, licensed commercial banks. These are the financial institutions that maintain current accounts and other savings accounts with the ability of creating money. Hope you have a clear understanding between current accounts and savings account. Usually current accounts are maintained by businessmen and a checkbook is used only if a customer has a current account and the main purpose of having a current account is for business transactions. However, savings accounts usually are, op are opened by the customers for the purpose of saving and earning an interest income. However, for current account, there isn't any interest paid by the bank to the customer. And bank overdraft facilities are usually provided for current accounts and not for savings accounts. Examples of licensed commercial banks, Bank of Ceylon, People's Bank, Sampath Bank, Commercial Bank PLC, Hatton National Bank and Ceylon Bank. Licensed Specialized Banks. What do they do? These are specialized type of institutions that has 
procured a license from the Central Bank of Sri Lanka to undertake business activities as a specialized bank under the Bank Act. So how are they different from other financial institutions? They are not authorized to operate current accounts. However, they are authorized to accept deposits for savings accounts and time deposits or term deposits. These are the examples of licensed specialized banks such as National Savings Bank, Sri Lanka Savings, Regional Development, Bank, State Mortgage and Investment Banks. Next, Licensed Finance Companies. What do they do? These are a special type of public companies that have procured a license from the Central Bank of Sri Lanka under the Finance Act. And what's the purpose? They accept time deposits and provide with investment loan facilities based on those funds. These are the examples LB Finance PLC, Singhaputra Finance PLC, the Finance Co PLC and Single Finance PLC. Next, Specified Financial Leasing Companies. These are the companies registered with the central bank specially for leasing activities, provision of finance facilities as per the request of businessmen to enable the leasing of machinery and other assets required for their use in the main business activity of these financial companies. The main income of these companies is the rent collected through leasing these assets. An examples Asset Line Leasing, Company Limited, LOLC, Microfine Credit Limited, SMB Leasing PLC, Isru Leasing Company Limited. Primary Dealers the market where government securities are marketed for the first time, earning money is the primary market. The firm that have been granted permission by the Central Bank of Sri Lanka to participate the primary market are known as primary dealers. So what are their main responsibilities? The main responsibility of primary dealer is to participate in the primary auctions and secondary market dealing with securities. These are the examples of primary dealers Capital Alliance Co, Selling Co, Sriram, Securities Co, Bank of Ceylon, and Sampath Securities Co. Moving to share brokers. This is a very common term. Organizations that act as mediators for buying and selling of share debentures in incorporated companies is known as broker companies. It is necessary to obtain a license from the Securities and Exchange Commission to carry on business as a share broker. Examples Asha People's Securities Co, Asia Securities Private Co, John Keel's Share Broker Private Co, JB Securities Private Co. Unit Trust It is an investment fund that has been raised through the sale of units to investors. The funds thus collected are deposited in an investment portfolio by professional fund managers. The returns generated are distributed among the investors on the unit price of the unit trust. These are examples Namal Unit Trust, National Assets, Management Company, C Bank Unit Trust, the Unit Trust Management Private Co, Ceylon Savings Fund, Ceylon Asset Management Co. Now I had put all these examples together in one screen to have a better understanding. And we had discussed about central bank, licensed commercial bank, licensed specialized banks, licensed finance companies,
specified financial leasing companies, primary dealers, share brokers and unit trust. Now you have an activity. Given below are set of financial institutions. List them under the following headings. Hope you enjoyed the session.